Content is intended to provide accurate information, however, is not intended as financial, tax, or legal advice. Please consult a financial, legal, or tax professional for specific information regarding your individual situation. Opinions expressed and provided are for general informational purposes only and should not be considered a solicitation for the purchase or sale of any security. Welcome to Game Plan for Retirement with Chris McIntyre, McIntyre Retirement Services, Northwest Ohio's retirement planning resource. And welcome into the program. And this is your game plan for retirement with Northwestern Ohio's resource for a common sense approach to planning for your financial and retirement future. He is president and founder of McIntyre Retirement Services, Chris McIntyre, once again with us. Chris, welcome back in. Hi, Peter. Good to be with you. Hi, everybody. Good to be with you as well. For those of you watching us on uh, on Zoom or uh, YouTube, I forget how Peter sets all this stuff up. I'm glad you know how to do it. No problem. We'll get it out there for you, Chris. But yeah, mostly on YouTube or, or even on the website or on, on Facebook, you can find us in multiple places for the podcast, for the radio program, of course, on the airwaves each and every weekend, but uh, uh, on, on iTunes, on iHeart, Spotify, Stitcher. But the best place to go, ladies and gentlemen, is right to the website to find all those resources, McIntyreRetirementServices.com mcintyre retirement services.com or if you've got a question that's been on your mind something of concern of a financial or retirement planning nature pick up the phone and give mcintyre retirement services a call standing by as your resource northwestern ohio 800-868-1194 that's 800-868-1194 800-868-1194 one one nine four. Uh, Chris, it's been a crazy financial world to to start the first half of 2020, to say the least. Uh, really, a lot has gone on that's that's kind of crazy. But in the financial world, the markets have been turbulent and took a big dive during the the COVID shutdown and quarantine, and and a very nice rebound. One thing's for certain, though, despite what has gone on with the volatility in the market, where we have the opportunity to make financial progress, where we've got tools available to us, we really need to be taking advantage. And one of the most commonly uh, available tools and one of the most commonly utilized for planning for retirement is through our employer-sponsored plan, the 401k. Sure, Peter. And let's throw in the 403B in there as well as for those of you that uh, work for like a nonprofit agency, just to have that in there. Uh, State of Ohio, we have some 457 plans. So when we talk about 401ks, we're trying to encompass everything there. And, you know, those are very great savings vehicles that have been put into play. And uh, I think the guy who started all that, his name was Herbert Whitehouse. And oh, he's with one of the big major companies. I want to think like, uh, Oh, a General Mills or something like that. And his whole idea, the concept behind this was for the employers to offer a way for their employees to invest and also to have to have a nest egg to go along with their pension. Um, now, we know that on the other side of that, the law of unintended consequences is most companies uh, see that, uh, you know, if they can help people put money into their 401ks, they can get away from the pension side of things. Yeah, and we're yeah. still dealing got away. with all of- Yeah, got away from the pensions. They, they sort of did a, a teeter totter or a flip flop there. The pu- pendulum swung and it was intended to complement and it, it ended up replacing the pensions in, in, in many cases, Chris. And, and uh, kind, of, kind of like the old Christmas savings account where you set money aside and, and save automatically. Um, now that Christmas savings account was basically all we had for our retirement. <laughs> That's funny, Peter. You say that now you saw me smiling as you were bringing that up because I remember those, you know, the layaway things and whatnot that we used to do at Sears, at Kmart, you know, at Woolworths and some of those great memories of being a youngster and all that. And boy, half those companies don't exist even now. So the world does change quite a bit, obviously. And, you know, I think uh, uh, Peter is alluding to, you know, uh, you know, some of the mistakes that people make when working with their 401k plans at work, you know, and I deal with some folks that, uh, you know, they'll call up off of the radio show or something or, and will say, you know, I haven't been putting money into my 401k at work because I've been nervous about the stock market and, or, you know, whatever it is, you know, I just don't trust my employer to handle my investment plan. And, you know, most people might not realize that those investments are held outside of your employer. They don't have access to go in there and look at your account and to see how much money you have and what you're investing in. 
you know, yes, they can do the match and you certainly want to take advantage of that. You want to get the free money that your company is willing to give you for you to start planning for your own retirement. So there's no conspiracy, uh, you know, that the companies are trying to monitor you and that type of thing. So, you know, some of those, you know, we kind of live in that world today where there isn't a whole lot of trust from employees to employers. And, you know, a lot of times the bigger corporations probably suffer more so from that than smaller companies, of course. Sure. Um, but which, which came first? Were the employees disloyal to the company or the company disloyal to the employees as a whole uh, to, to begin that seed of distrust there? But the bottom line is that employees more often than not, now there are still some that make a long career at a single employer, but more often than not, they, they bounce around for who's offering the, the best pay, the best salary, the best benefits, the best quality of life, and employers in turn are searching for how they can get the best bang for their buck, the cheapest employees to do the job for the, the least amount of salary and, and benefits. So uh, again, Chris, it's more on our own shoulders now uh, more than ever to save for our, our retirement. And so we're not sticking with one company. Uh, typically for an entire career. We don't have the gold watch and, and, and the pension on the day that we retire. We've got to utilize the tools that we have available. And if you want to make sure that you are making the best use of those tools, ladies and gentlemen, pick up the phone and give McIntyre Retirement Services a call for that complimentary review, that retirement planning strategy session, 800-868-1194. That's 800-868-1194, 800-868-1194. And Chris, over the past several weeks, we have been exploring different reports that you've got available, the countdown to retirement. Continuing on with the, the theme of the reports, you've got this new report, 50 401k mistakes, and you just hit on several of them, not participating in the 401k, not capturing a match in the 401k, if that's available, not starting as soon as you are eligible, not maximizing the available match, all of these, Chris, are, are really going to kind of put us behind the curve if we're not doing these things soon enough, often enough, or as much as possible. Certainly, Peter. And we'll go through a number of these items as we, you know, have our conversation and discussion for everybody here today. And, you know, uh, Peter, I'm a big Roth guy. And now there are more and more companies that offer the Roth 401ks. And then again, you don't get to deduct your contributions. You know, you still have, you're paying taxes on the on the seed, if you will, and then you get to reap the harvest income tax-free, where the traditional 401k, the traditional IRA is, uh, I can delay taxes now until later on in retirement when, you know, the theory was you'd be in a lower tax bracket in retirement. You know, in, you know, if we apply that to, you know, 30 years ago, for example, yeah, taxes were much higher then. Uh, when you retire, you're in a lower tax bracket. We don't know what that's going to be because taxes are low now, not high like they were 15 and 20 years ago, and even 10 years ago, even five years ago. Yeah. Um, so just maybe time to rethink a couple of those assumptions. Yeah, that paradigm shift needs to happen. And we're seeing that in the younger folks that we're working with that have much more money in the Roth side of things now than previous generations and maybe mom and dads did. And, you know, that certainly makes sense. And we want to, you know, continue that conversation to have people consider, you know, when you mail that money to yourself 30 years down the road and you open that magic envelope, you know, to unleash your retirement, how much tax do you want to pay on that? An unknown amount or zero? And most folks, you know, when you think about it in a rhetorical sense like that, zero is the lowest amount of income tax you can pay. So that's what the Roth pieces were, were designed for. So we like those as well. And we've had many conversations here over many years on, you know, having the ability to do some correct tax planning in your particular situation, obviously. Well, again, we are reviewing the list, this report of 5401k mistakes. And if you want to make sure that you have addressed each item on this list, pick up the phone, give Chris McIntyre and McIntyre Retirement Services a call. They're happy to do a retirement planning review, evaluation, strategy session, an overview and evaluation of your 401k utilization and the options that you have chosen and utilized 
within your employer sponsored retirement account. It's part of our financial lives that actually does not often get a lot of time and attention or review or monitoring from a qualified professional. But Chris McIntyre willing to extend that service and that opportunity to you. Pick up the phone and give a call 800 868 1194. That's 800 868 1194. Chris, another thing the 401k is beautiful. It's out of sight, it's out of mind, it happens automatically, but that can tend to lead to mistakes in not reviewing your account, not reviewing your statements, your progress as often as we should. Yeah, and a lot of times, you know, we're just uh, people that are working are just so busy with normal days, you know, normal lives and, you know, they check the balances. They don't check to see if they need to rebalance though. Uh, you know, are, am I over too heavy in stocks, too heavy in bonds, that sort of thing. And, and uh, Chris, this can the... happen when things go very well for us. When the market is going well, oftentimes we get overweighted in a particular area or a particular, uh, particular sector, correct? Oh, absolutely. And that's a good thing, you know. So rebalancing is a good thing to do because it keeps you in line with your risk tolerance. And, you know, um, uh, many, many of those 401ks now, Peter, have, uh, as you know, gone into those retirement lifestyle funds for people that say, hey, I just, I want it to adjust over time as I get closer to retirement. I want it to get more and more conservative. And, you know, hey, that's probably a better approach than doing nothing whatsoever, because at least it's getting you, you know, more conservative as you get to retirement. It doesn't mean it's the the best plan in every aspect for every individual out there because it's adjusting not based on economic conditions based on what month the calendar is or what year the calendar is but it's probably better than doing nothing at all i'll give you that yep and and maybe not understanding all of your choices and options within the 401k because that may be a choice or option that may be several choices and options depending on the year you want to retire you can do those target date or those life cycle funds a potential option for you there but there could be others within the 401k that you've got available to you and chris you got to understand what those are at least on a fundamental level what they allow you to to uh expect what we what our expectations should be what kind of exposure and what kind of results uh we we may be able to achieve from those certain options that are available to us no question about it peter and you know sometimes uh i, I suppose if there's a knock against some of the 401k plans that are out there and again every company can have you know a multitude number of funds for you to invest in or you know sometimes there's too few in in a lot of cases and you know, they, they're a little plain vanilla, if you will. So, um, you know, where we come into play here and just did it for a client that uh, uh, lives in the uh, Northwest Ohio area here is, you know, added some international exposure to her portfolio. She had a rebalance type piece that, and it was a moderately aggressive 401k, but had very little foreign stock exposure. So uh, we went in there and said, look, well, you know, maybe on your next contributions here coming forward, we add that to the international side of things. And, um, you know, just the way that 401k platform worked, it did a rebalance, but it didn't include the international side of things there for whatever reason, that's just how they work. And, you know, that's one of the advantages, you know, once you hit that 59 and a half threshold or you have old 401ks at previous employers, like Peter said, not everybody works at the same place for 25 years anymore is, you know, having the ability to, you know, move those assets into IRAs where you have a much wider investment, uh, you know, horizon that you can pick from or selection. I'm sorry, better word. Yeah, you've got the, the spectrum of the financial world rather than that set menu of 10 items. Uh, and, and our results are so often determined by the level of control we take over certain variables. And when we can control what options we have and, and, and what selections we have, those are our variables that we can take control over. Uh, Chris, again, that in-service distribution, that's a time to look at maybe removing money from the 401k and along the way, not prioritizing other saving and investment goals and options. The 401k is a good tool, but it's not the only tool that's available and, and maybe over and above a match if we are receiving it, there are other options that we should be considering um, <clears throat> aligning those 
prioritizing those, uh, making sure that we're utilizing all the tools available to, to the, our maximum efficiency is one of the services there at, at McIntyre Retirement Services and, and one of the things that you help people review and evaluate. And again, ladies and gentlemen, to make sure that you're on track and doing all of the best things for your financial future, pick up the phone, give a call, 800-868-1194. That's 800-868-1194. Yeah, Peter, and I'll give you a couple other points here. Um, you know, we've got some nice companies here that uh, that people have worked at for a long period of time. I'll say like uh, Ball Corporation down in Finley or Rexam, they've merged together. Uh, we also have Church and Dwight. They make Arm & Hammer baking soda. And not many people have heard of Church and Dwight if you don't live here, but everybody knows Arm & Hammer. <laughs> yeah, and their stock has done incredibly well for a very long period of time. So one of the things that you can do a lot, uh, within your 401k is buy that company stock. Um, now you gotta be careful where you don't want too much of your eggs in one basket, obviously, but there sure. are some uh, unique tax features that you can uh, potentially take advantage of with having company stock within your 401k plan. And so so Chris, would you, you encourage people to really consult a professional if they do fall into that category, if, if they do have the option for company stock in their 401k? Yeah, that's no question about it, Peter. And you know, uh, you know, I can think of a couple of folks that we're working with right now, one from Church and Dwight, one from Honeywell, where those company stocks have done incredibly well over time. We've obviously got Whirlpool Corporation, um, you know, just a couple that come to mind, but there's a unique uh, opportunity called Net Unrealized Appreciation or NUA. And it's too technical to go into all the crazy details here of it over the uh, radio show. It's one of those visual pieces that you need to see, but it's one way where you can slide that company stock when you retire into a taxable brokerage account. You would pay income tax on your cost basis and then capital gains tax on the appreciated stock value. And if you're married filing jointly, you don't pay any capital gains tax until you're into the 22% income tax bracket. To, so, you know, zero is another potential there. So we help a lot of folks with uh, that net unrealized depreciation. Well, well, again, Chris, uh, one of the ramifications, one of the consequences of the 401k for our retirement are, are the tax implications. We, we have to understand that taxes are associated with each and every dollar we want to withdraw and spend. And so if we can be as tax efficient as possible, that's yet another variable that we are controlling for our retirement. And so if we can take advantage of the Roth option to eliminate taxation, if we can take advantage of the company stock and net unrealized appreciation to be maybe a little bit more efficient with our taxation and keep more of our money, these are opportunities that we all need to really pay attention to and identify. Now, again, not all of these are going to apply to each and every person listening. The 401k is a very broadly used, widely available tool, but a lot of these are going to be on a specific individual basis. But Chris McIntyre does have this list of 50 common 401k mistakes. If you'd like to see the list, review the list for yourself. If you'd like to come in and have a qualified professional help you uh, assist you in making the choices and options and making better selections and making better use of or better understanding of your 401k or your company or employer sponsored plan 403b TSP 457 pick up the phone give Chris McIntyre a call 800-868-1194 that's 800-868-1194 and Chris since we don't get a lot of guidance or oversight from our company I think another common mistake with the 401k 401k might be not consulting an outside advisor to get that kind of help and assistance. Certainly. Yeah. You could, you know, our fiduciary responsibility, you know, allows us to be objective and we're also independent. So, you know, we don't have a bias toward, you know, a Vanguard of Fidelity, you know, any of the major financial companies, TD Ameritrade, Charles Schwab, you know, they're all fine companies in their own respects. And, you know, we just take that independent approach there. Um, and, and I did want to say, Peter, um, you know, in today's COVID world, we're, we have the full capabilities to do virtual meetings. And I probably do 99% of my work right now is virtual, as Peter has told you before. Yep. I'm somewhat of a germaphobe. But again, with the responsibility that I have, 
limiting exposure is certainly in, in my best interest, client's best interest, of course. So, uh, you know, we certainly have had some appointments in the office, but they're, you know, wearing masks and taking all the safety protocols and maintaining six feet, even in my office. That's not a problem. Yep. Well, again, no, no downside for placing this call. There's uh, no cost, no obligation. There's never any benefit from procrastinating. There is no need to meet in person to get this process started. If you want to get a better handle and a better understanding on your 401k or any of your retirement savings and planning tools and options, pick up the phone and give McIntyre Retirement Services a call, 800-868-1194. That's 800-868-1194. If you'd like this list of the 5401k mistakes, uh, peruse that, uh, review that on your own time, go over it with your family, your spouse, your loved ones, pick up the phone, give a call, request it from McIntyre Retirement Services, or you are also uh, able to go online and, and view and listen to all of the podcasts. Make sure you uh, listen. And when you do, like, subscribe, and share that information. If you know anybody that you feel would benefit from it or that it could be important to, pick up the phone, give a call. Chris McIntyre standing by. I'd love to hear from you, help you answer and address questions. 800-868-1194, 800-868-1194, or go online mcintyreretirementservices.com. Chris, speaking of the difficulties that we've experienced with the uh, novel coronavirus, the COVID, the, the pandemic, the shutdown, the government gave us a lot more leeway and flexibility in accessing those retirement accounts and taking loans from those retirement accounts and making withdrawals perhaps with, without that 10% penalty in, in certain circumstances. But we need to understand the, the full implications of that. And several of the mistakes on your list have to do with taking loans from the 401k or leaving a job with an outstanding loan from a 401k, um, not paying the loan off from a 401k. All of these can be really uh, harmful to our long-term financial timeline and our outlook for retirement, can't they? And, you know, in the taxable consequences of having some of those loans that you need to settle up once you retire, if you want to move that 401k into other places. And Peter, that's a, uh, you know, a, a big impact on many, many things that we have that we deal with um, as folks go to retire and they're like, oh God, I forgot I got a $20,000 loan that I never paid back. And, you know, at some point you, you have to come back and, you know, and pay the taxes on that $20,000 if you haven't done that. so Which you, also means, Chris, that they probably haven't been making a whole lot of progress in that account because you don't you have to pay the loan back first before like new contributions are, are actually going into and, and accumulating in the four? I know that the market can help the balance, but if we've got a loan out before we can actually add any new money, we've got to pay off that loan if I understand that correctly. It, it depends on the plan there, Peter. There's some plan specific, so not all of them are fall into that general category. Okay. Um, it, I, I wanted to highlight something that uh, we had talked about previously uh, in the show that, you know, some folks are uh, leery of putting money into the stock market and whatnot. And one of the points here on the, on the list that we created for folks was dollar cost averaging. And, you know, we probably have some younger listeners out there today that's, you know, you know, saw some blurb on the news that, hey, the market's going to look into being bad territory or something like that. So they decide not to invest. And remember, when you're making contributions is different than setting up distributions in your retirement. When you're making contributions and the market goes down, you're buying more shares of the stocks and the bonds that are lower in value. So right. you certainly want to keep that process going. And then when the market recovers and is up at record highs, your contributions are buying fewer shares. So we call that dollar cost averaging. And it's just one of the few win-win pieces that are out there for investors. You know, they're, they're taking money out of your account, you know, so you don't have to be disciplined to write the check. And, you know, a lot of, it, I think Peter and I have made the joke here many times that, you know, if people actually had to write the checks to the IRS, we'd really be in fiscal problems. Uh, when yeah. they come out of your check, that's what's easy. Yeah. And so, you know, having that money come out automatically and buying more when the bot, when the market's low, buying fewer shares when the market's high is just one of the few wins wins of dollar cost averaging for millions of American investors. Well, Chris, also when, when money's going into these accounts, 
typically that means that we are pretty secure in our paycheck, right? It, it means that we're receiving a paycheck. Those contributions are, are being siphoned off of the paycheck, cut, cut out of it before we receive our net income going into the account. Uh, but it does mean that we've got the paycheck. So our lifestyle is pretty secure so long as that paycheck is sufficient to cover our expenses. Uh, and, and those downtimes in the economy, yes, we hate to see when the economy loses steam or retracts or we have a downturn. But again, so long as the paycheck is covering our financial stability and our standard of living, for anyone contributing, that's a great opportunity to buy more for less, do more with our money, dollar cost average to leverage over time, because then we've got more shares that can grow when the market does recover and, and bounce back upwards. Yes, absolutely. And even, you know, for some of you that are still working, you know, um, we do a lot of work with people that are 59 and a half, and that's when they typically reach a trigger point and they can move money into from a 401k into a traditional IRA, kind of an in-service distribution. And that's also where we can start working on the raw side of things. But for the younger listeners out here, you know, you can move money from your traditional 401k into a traditional Roth 401k if your company plan has allowed you to do that and you can't, you know, you're not at that 59 and a half threshold. So, um, you know, a number of different avenues there to, you know, take advantage of low income tax pieces here to uh, bring in that Roth side of things. So you have, you know, you can control your tax destiny in your retirement and, you know, because you got to watch social security issues, Medicare issues, uh, premium issues based off of your income once you get into retirement. So for the younger folks out there, make sure that you're doing some tax planning. Um, you know, obviously, if you've got a CPA or a tax planner, make sure that they're running some projections for you or some what if pieces. And we do a lot of that, as you know, Peter, with our current client yep. base. So Chris, a few, a few mistakes that, that you may uh, bring from what we just talked about. Um, stopping contributions when the market is down. We don't want to stop contributions when the market is down. That's the time that we really want to strive to make those contributions. Moving to uh, very conservative options when the market's already down. We probably at that point in time have already experienced the losses. We, we don't wanna lock them in and not participate in the recovery. And Chris, how about never increasing our contributions over the course of our career? If we start out with one salary, hopefully uh, we're making pay raises over time. When we get those, we wanna to try to increase our contributions, correct? Yeah, easy. And that's the easiest thing to do is to do it right there through the company plan. You know, and it, usually every year or two, they increase the amount of money you can put into your 401k. Once you hit the age of uh, 50 and older, they give you that catch-up contribution. So making sure you're aware of, of what all of those thresholds are is very important for folks as well. Because remember, nowadays, guys, for most, uh, most Americans, our retirement savings is on us now, you know. The gov there's not that uh, pension pieces that are out there as much anymore, you know, and I forget the statistics. Peter usually has those for us here a couple of times. <laughs> very throughout very the year. few, very, very, very few <laughs> offer the 401 yeah. or offer the pension rather. You're right, Peter. And, you know, if you think about it, think how expensive it is for a corporation to pay lifetime income payments to, you know, thousands or hundreds of thousands of, you know, of retirees that may spend 30 years in retirement. And I think that's one of the reasons why we've stopped seeing pensions to, to a, a great extent, Chris, is the unknown liability that so many of these companies had. They didn't realize that so many people were going to receive so much income for so long after they stopped working and being productive. And, and so they've had to uh, freeze the pensions. They had to stop offering the pensions. Um, um, pensions in certain circumstances failed and, and had to be renegotiated or, or, or fell on uh, the Pension Benefit Guarantee uh, Association. So there were problems there. Now more than ever, we build up that personal wealth for our retirement. But again, we make lots of mistakes along the way that if we can avoid them, if we can identify them early, our retirement outlook will be that much better. So missing opportunities for those 401k uh, advantages, um, 
making some of these mistakes, you want to avoid that, ladies and gentlemen. Pick up the phone, give Chris McIntyre a call, get this list of 50 common 401k mistakes in your hand, or sit down with a qualified professional, Chris and, and the team there at McIntyre Retirement Services. This is what they do. They help people make better decisions with their money and with the tools that you have available for planning for your financial future. If you'd like that review, if you'd like that uh, complimentary strategy session, just pick up the phone and, and request that time. You can do it in person. You can do it with the convenience and the safety through technology over, uh, over the internet, online. 800-868-1194. That's 800-868-1194. 800-868-1194. 800-868-1194. Eight six eight eleven ninety four, or go online mcintyreretirementservices.com lots of great additional resources there as well chris i always appreciate your time this is a great list i think a lot of people will benefit um from from even just reviewing uh this this list of 50 items and saying nope i'm not making that mistake well i might be might be making that one i need to review it and double check it absolutely peter it's good to be with everybody out there and helping people in these trying times and remember guys it's not that if I do this, it's right. If I do this, it's wrong. It's never that simple. It's not always cut and dry. We try to help people make the best decisions given their particular set of circumstances. Well, again, if you need help, if, if you'd like assistance, if you don't want to make mistakes into and throughout retirement that could jeopardize your, your standard of living, your comfort, your confidence, uh, and, and the path to get you there, you'd like to make sure that you're taking every opportunity to leverage your dollars and be as efficient as possible. Pick up the phone, give Chris McIntyre a call, 800-868-1194. That's 800-868-1194. Always a pleasure speaking with Chris McIntyre, and I know he's looking forward to hearing from you, helping you in any way he can. For the savers and investors across Northwestern Ohio, taking your planning, your financial future seriously, McIntyre Retirement Services is your resource. Give him a call, 800-868-1194. Chris, once again, we appreciate your time. Thank you for being here. My pleasure. God bless America, everybody. Stay safe. Visit McIntyreRetirementServices.com for many additional valuable resources, including other great episodes of Game Plan for Retirement with Chris McIntyre. Be sure to subscribe.